Hello there everybody, so Baron I, Jerry Karamar, and welcome back to Tokyo Babble. Here's the good news, I'm not completely out of energy despite having an incredibly long day. So, I promise mostly that this video will not be cut short as it was in the past. So, let us continue and pick up where we left off. He told me to find my own race on Dare. The reason I lived. The reason for which I should live. However, Despite all that, my, hand was a my head was a land of contradictory conjunctions. I should ask for my own heart. For what reason does Kugutsusorimi live? It felt as if the answer had been hidden from me behind an impenetrable wall that refused all attempts at introspection. Oh, okay, this is Sorimi, okay. Maybe I could find something out if I recalled a fraction of my memories, but I had no luck on that end either. Everything was so vague. Huh, so vague. It felt as if my past self had been buried underneath the cold earth with no means of escape. My hands tore through the mud, incessantly sifting aside the detritus only to find more of in its place. Was there really something hidden beneath this mountain of dirt? My memories. My life. Maybe the mound was empty. Maybe there was nothing hidden beneath. I wished for at least that to not be true. For if there was nothing beneath all this mud, then it would mean I was never someone worth saving in the first place. And that would render it impossible for me to ever look straight into his eyes again. As long as not something extremely... <clears throat> well, as long as it's not... It's not blah, 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 blah. I just had a tongue twister there. I just, I just had a mild stroke. I don't know. If it was anything, it probably had to be something dramatic or, you know, dark. Kind of like a cliche of sorts, but... Oh well, <clears throat> we shall see. I answered. I think she was asking you about your her looks, not her back. Never mind. By the way, I'm drinking some more chamomile tea. Hmm. I looked at Sormi long and hard. For a second there, I was worried she might misunderstand it for me leering at her. Still, the only way to see this inner side of hers was through meticulous observation. However, I let out a sigh and confessed the truth. Silence fell upon us. I stood on my hands, or to be more precise, on a single finger. The posture itself wasn't too hard to achieve. The hard part was concentrating on my magic in this posture. This was one of the training methods Camille suggested me. Humans couldn't compare to demons in the amount of magical energy their bodies can contain. If the amount of my magical energy was 100, then Camille's was over 50,000. No matter what I did, that difference would never shrink. Even if I spent 100 years training, it would be a miracle if I ever reached 500. Luckily, the Sword of the Seven Deadly Sins, but Caddy, served to neutralize this handicap. Still, magical energy didn't exactly translate to one's ability to do battle, and it wasn't like having huge reserves of it allowed one to shoot lofty magic spells indefinitely either. Utilizing strong magic and having a huge pool of magical energy were two entirely different matters. The Pikani Sword served as a catalyst for summoning magic, applying a tremendous amount of magical energy of its own, it only required minor contributions from my reserves. Though even those minor contributions put considerable strain on my body since I was neither designed for nor, nor used to this concept of applying magic to matter. Giving birth to magical energy within my body was an entirely new experience to me, while Lilith and Raziel seemed to be doing it ever since they took their first breaths. But that was enough of describing my petty struggles. The point was, I still lacked the strength in every way possible. Neither my physical abilities, nor aptness to control magic were at levels sufficient to help topple Tokyo Babel. Not to mention, I had yet to discover my race Sander, 
They told me it would be not impossible to stand against the masters of the third stratum and beyond the way I was now. But though at the same time, they also told me that some race on dares can only be found in the midst of battle. So I was now in the middle of training myself on the matters I could do something about as a compromise. Well, putting me aside, I highly doubted Sormi was the type to discover her race on dare in battle. But without memories, we had nothing to go on with her. Even her name and the basic information of her background were still shrouded in mystery. I couldn't blame her for not knowing what to do. And it was this very girl that pleaded with me to look at her inner self. I should probably try my best to cooperate. いいよ、<笑><笑> <laughs> she, for some reason, proceeded to sulk. As I was deep in thought pertaining to the inexplicable and abrupt change in her countenance, Camille entered the gym. <laughs> hey, Camille. <laughs> huh? まさかこれでも天使の軍団長だ。納流さんを立ター開けたくらいじゃ、なんとも思わないが。はい。あ、I アダムよりもか。正直に言おう。アダムが本命だ。ストレートに言ってくれてありがとう。気が楽だ。This is Sormi regarded me with a worried look. Ah, now that I thought about it, she knew about the antipathy, or rather one-sided aversion, I felt towards the man. But it was alright. Camille's words did not affect me one bit. I could, could not care less about what Adam was destined to be or not to be. Yeah, thanks for calling me an abomination. うん。まあ、ほら。無論。他の連中に喋ることはない。その辺はアストロとも同じだろ。その辺は信用しているさ。うん。では、剣術で勝負と行くか。ベンセン。ああ、いや。ちょっと待った。実は空見と約束をして
I could spot disappointment coloring his features as he uttered those words. And as he let out a heavy sigh to signal the end of his speech. Oh, hey, Belial. I was suddenly assaulted by a vision of Belial dressed as a duck coming to party with a bag full of onions, a pot, some soy sauce, a couple of eggs, and a hearty chopping board. What? Oh. あれ、<笑><笑><笑> Yeah. Bye, Mr. Bilio. It was nice knowing you. Have fun. Have fun. <laughs> so Army and I escaped the corridor. The library is our next destination. Liris and Raziel are saying that the world is divided into three different worlds. First, the original Master World, after which all other worlds took shape. Then the slave worlds that followed the master laws diligently and were but diff <laughs> Then the slave worlds that followed the masters the master laws diligently and were but barely different. Finally, the heretical worlds that ended up taking a completely different path from their origin. <laughs> あるいは時間が早く進みすぎて火星に到達した世界。幽霊の存在が実証された世界。あるいは水体への絶望に抗おうとした世界。I think a heretical world. I considered my answer for a couple of seconds. まあ、そういう世界だった。教えてくれないの? I couldn't look her straight in the eyes for some reason. I could feel awkwardness filling my chest. Why was I so bothered by something that frivolous? Just tell her. Tell her everything, it's not that hard. Was there something negative about telling Stormy about my past? I doubt she'd tell anyone if I asked her not to. Unless tortured, but that was another story entirely. If there was but a single downside, it would be that this information might lead her to look at me with different eyes, lead her to feel repulsed by myself. Was it that what was bothering me? <laughs> Her words allowed me to take an easy breath. She peeked at my face from below with a timid expression as if afraid I was angry. <laughs> After a moment's deliberation, I rested my head atop I rested my hand atop of her head as if consoling a little child. I tried mimicking what she had done to me back on the bench, but I was not confident in carrying out the procedure effectively. Uh, Sarmi gave me a relieved nod and we were on our way. Ah, the Dentalian. ラジエルならここにはおらんぞ。ラジエルがいないと我々は暇だ。なので本を読め。嫌だがしかし仕事が少し面倒だ。だから本は綺麗に読め。
このパンドラにいる人間の情報が知りたい場合どこを当たればいいだろうか ZX の68以降が当学園の学籍データになっている ZX68? With that, Dentalian waved his index finger and a shining line appeared at our feet, stretching towards the depths of the library. Thanks. Because we're gonna fly. そういう存在は想定していなかった。天道説な。お前は飛べるな。ああ。僕が連れて行くよ。I grasped Sormi's hand and launched into the sky. <笑> Sormi let out a stifled scream. <笑>大丈夫。ちょっと下見て、クラッとしただけ。ああ。どうしよう。僕の腰に捕まった方がいいかも。You gonna pull a Raziel and basically carry her、uh, bridal style? Hmm, what options did we have? Oh, that.、Uh, okay. Put the. Unleash? Oh, fucking Christ. Hell no. Uh, go ahead and save there. Hmm. I don't think any of these really changes the outcome, so I guess carry your arms like a princess, I guess? Hmm. That would be a little. The Lilith would probably have a little heyday with that. Entirely sure, but try this. I slid my arms under her knees and raised her body up. And Sarmi broke. She proceeded to bury her face into my chest as I was busy cocking my head at her peculiar speech pattern. It appeared she didn't want me to observe her face. Was the fact that her neck was burning and red somehow correlated to this curious behavior? I guess I chose the wrong one. Because it wasn't a selection! With her clinging safely to my back, I flew towards the bookshelf indicated by the shimmering line. After a couple of twists and turns, we finally reached our destination. I could hear Sorumi gasp something along the lines of, eh, behind my back. Well, now, where should we start? Yellow. A girl slithered through an opening of two bookshelves. Another Dentalian. Apparently, it inhabited this locale as well. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, well, excuse you. The Italian waved his way, irked. With Sorami on my back, I proceeded towards the said bookshelf edge. Sorami, 
そうかでも読んでた本で世界はわからないんじゃ本は出版社が出しているその出版社が存在する世界を渡ればかなり絞られるよ True そもそも本が存在しない世界や日本が存在しない世界は外してもいいからねそんな平行世界もあるのねとついた We seem to have reached the edge of the endless bookshelf wall, where a small data terminal rested inconspicuously. It looked like a touch panel model. Good thing I made Dentalian tag along. Dentalian made a cut on Sormi's finger and smearing the blood oozing out of her wound on her nail, carried it over to some centrifuge looking machine standing next to the terminal. Sormi proceeded to suck on her finger. I took her wet finger in my hand and Sormi suddenly jumped. Already used to her sometimes inexplicable behavior, I chose not to mind that peculiar display and proceeded to infuse her wound with nano machines. The Wilderment colored Dentalian's features. The words did not match any worlds shown on the terminal screen. She took out the test tube from the centrifuge, jotted down investigate on its label, and flew away. Hmm. After some time, she informed us that the gene analyzing machine was in perfect order, and the possibility of it making a mistake of this fashion was exceedingly low. In other words, Sormi had come to us from a world that is yet to be observed. Or to put it more simply, we didn't learn a single thing. Huh. <laughs> Sarmi wrapped her hands around her shoulders. なんていうのか。すごく表現に困るんだけど。ホームシックなのに帰るべき家がないみたいな。そうそう、ママその感じ、よくわかったね。僕がそうだからね。僕には帰るべき家がない。もうすでに跡形もなく滅んでいる。滅んだ。え、え、どういうこと？まあ一言で言うと、いろいろあって滅んだ。僕はその世界のただ一人の生き残りでリリスに救われた。You fancy dying, then die for me. Fight for me and fall for me. Don't let your life go to waste. Let it serve me instead. Now this is Astaroth's office. Lilith glanced at the residents of the principal's office and gave an exaggerated sigh. Hmm. Astaroth was the current acting principal of the establishment. 
Well, I'm kind of a prying ear, so. それがわかれば苦労はない。と言いたいところだが。どうも、押し場鋼と苦口空見について調べているようだ。押し場鋼と空見。この2人に関わったのはリリス君だろ。どうか教えてくれ。この2人に何がある。I already think that Astaroth is the one that recruited Oshiba Hagane, so. つまり今この場で語るべきことはない。え、ないわ。もう全くこれっぽっちもね。俺はそもそもが無関係じゃねえか。ま、材料を与えられたら推理はできるだろうが、現状じゃ無理だな。開目何にも検討つかんで。Bill
。夢や希望を抱いた未来じゃない。彼がこだわっていたのは未来そのものだった。未来、ねえ。It's hopes and dreams that people usually crave from the future, not the concept itself. Or rather, most people think dreams of, or hopes, but write future in their stead. What would you want to become in the future? What would you want to have in the future? Everyone craved for their future to be good for them. And it was perfectly natural to do so. It could certainly stand as one's race on there. But future as a concept was a time frame spliced away from the past and the present. It had nothing to bestow by itself. それもね、星は鋼は自分が死ぬという未来をレゾンデートルにしていたのよ。破滅願望か。似ているけど違うわ。破滅という未来を求めたんじゃない。自身の未来が破滅であることを受け入れたのよ。There are people who dreamt about destroying the world. Yeah? Not saying it's me, but、uh, that by itself wasn't an issue. Dreaming about something, destruction or not, was the right of any human being. It would become a problem only if said person tried to act on his plans. By the same logic, there are surely people who dream about their own destruction. Two types might sound somewhat different superficially, but their essence was the same. Both of them craved for their future to change. Oshiba Hagane differed from the two in that he did not dream about the future, nor work towards a particular goal. He accepted his inevitable destruction. Yet there were myriad possibilities entangled with the future. In its countless layers, he surely could have found a sequence of events that led to his survival. Nevertheless, not even looking for such a possibility, he accepted his own demise. <laughs> その押し場鋼ってやつはコーラスで汚染されたわけじゃないんだな。No, clearly he wasn't。その通り。あれは鉄塔鉄尾まともだったわ。そもそも天使と悪魔を食らった痕跡すらない。でも彼の力は天使や悪魔を完全に凌駕していたわ。誰かが力を与えた。そうね。それで間違いないでしょうね。問題は誰が力を与えたかってことよ。天使の連中、それで揉めてんじゃないかしら。Yeah, it's a good thing you're on top of these things, love. Camille no doubt learned the details from Raziel's report. He was currently the head of the Seraphs with as much influence as the four master angels once had. So, with all the information of the light side flowing directly to him, he likely knew a thing or two that he didn't want the demons to learn. そしてそいつに力を与えた天使が未来未来 Suddenly the two were overcome by an odd sensation of absence. Their conversation seemed to have triggered something in their subconscious. It was a vague vestige lingering after the obliteration of a certain name. Belial gave his chest a hearty thud. <laughs> Belial reached out and wrapped his arms around Lilith's neck. The two assumed the position of the so called sleeper hold. <laughs> You're just getting choked throughout this entire route, Lilith. Lilith tapped Belio's arm twice. <laughs> With that, Lilith, seemingly overcome by a sudden burst of anger, proceeded to kick me in the calf. Okay. Okay. <laughs> She gave me a chilling glare. I answered her with a sigh. Lilith, you must have a lot of people who are not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do
完全に舐められているっぷりがリリスちゃんちょっと悲しい。Her features returned to her usual laid back self and she gave me a pat on the shoulder. It wouldn't shock me if you did say that. <laughs> Oh, let's see how she's gonna react. A little frozen place, her mouth wide open. No, not yet. <laughs> Sorami assaulted me with an avalanche of light jabs. That didn't seem strong enough to cause me serious damage, so I decided to observe the situation for a while longer before trying to retaliate. Lilith. Lilith. <laughs> Sarami <laughs> stole a glance at my face and proceeded to join her index fingers, making a peculiar shape with her hands. Could it be she suddenly remembered a sacred ritual from her native land? God damn it, Sword Setsuna! Both gave me an accusing look. Does not compute. Both gave me a broad smile while Sarmi followed with a troubled smile. Eve. Lil turned around to meet the surprising guest. Lil's eyebrows shot up in confusion as her little sister, or whatever she actually was to her, entered the scene, and I couldn't blame her. Kind of a shock there. Lilith jumped back, bewilderment twisting her face. Was it something to be this surprised about? 
Do you need help with Adam? Eve stole a couple glances our way, so I mean I clocked our heads in return. We had no idea what she was on about. Not to mention she seemed somewhat flustered. She kind of reminded me of how sore me was seconds before. Sure. We are head still cocked exchanged glances. Well, this ought to be interesting. Sorme and Lilith proceeded to scream while Eve flushed the color of crimson. Uh, she did not say a single word that should have warranted screams of that fashion as far as I was concerned. Oh god. A ferocious blow crashed into my side. With those as my last words, I fell to my knees. Frag those who brag? Well, she's honest. Well, I think it's more like it was an arranged marriage. I was of the same opinion. My dislike for Adam notwithstanding, I knew I could at least trust him on taking care of Eve. Hmm. I was the last person to hand out advice on matters of love, but I did agree with her assertion. Marriage was not just about being together. その、Bohemian lifestyle? Socks? I mean, I know they're not sturdy, but... Okay. That is actually adorable. Yeah,まあ、だけど、残念なことに、私ってばあくまでもちょっとかな。一、一夜限りのお付き合いとかそういうのばっかりだったし、えだからえっと。あ、そう、こういうのは空耳の方が頼りになると思うわ、きっと。ね、そうよね。あ、ポーソーミー。リリス。なぜか声がものすごく上ずってるよ。あとアセビ処理。あと顔が赤いですわ。うるさいわね。
とんでもねえ私は記憶喪失だよ<笑>記憶喪失してるくらいなら大丈夫よ男の一人や二人手玉に取りなさい It hasn't even been that long. Mucha, you know, Otokonoko, Skia toka, Skiawa Naitoka, Skitoka, Kiraitoka, Eidas to Dakede, Kotstora, Ipa, Ipa, ya. He got any tiring in Narana. Probably not. Sorry, Eve. Eve covered her face with her hands. Ojitskinasa, Eve. レセに考えたらあなたの悩みにまともに答えられるのってこのパンドラにはあまり存在しないわ。それで困っているのです。だからまあ私とそれみと切なで話し合って知恵を出すわ。日本の言葉じゃにもあるでしょ。三人よれば
Or is her definition of a day? Okay. Well, it depends on what you're going to do on that date. My definition of a date would have to be very decent. Nope! Oh god, Lilith! With what seemed like an explosion in the background, Lilith roared something completely tactless for everyone to hear. That is incredibly... I pointed out the flaw in her logic. This is going off the rails. Wasn't I supposed to be the person with no common sense in this group? N no, Eve, that's not... Ugh. Eve's face flushed the color of a tomato. It appeared she knew how children were made. Not like this was the best time to analyze her carnal knowledge. No, you idiot! Lilith proceeded to pick her nose with a dismissing expression on her face. もっとこう、失せ。じゃなくて正常なものですよ。そうよね、せつな。僕は well, I suppose that was where it all led, after all. Uh. Okay, I can agree with that. No. No. Oh my god. Setsuna, just, just shut up. あ、なんか切なが好きになれるかどうかそれで判断するのもいいんじゃないのそうですねありがとうございます久々様まあ問題があるとすればただ一つ問題なんてある? That's actually a good question the voices of the three girls resonated in a beautiful unison. Oh, so People would crave new stimuli from places they were not used to, and with those feelings as the catalyst, they would discern if the partners in their company were indeed significant to them or not. Dates were that kind of recreational activity. Not that I ever participated in one, but from the information available to me, I guess that that was what they were supposed to be like. だからまあ、いっそのこと東京バベルのどこかに行くとか。銀座なら危険性は薄いんじゃない大地階層だから買って知ってるってもんでしょ。え、まあ、そうなのですが。廃墟とかした街並みっていうのはどうもデートらしく
よしよしちょっと交渉してくるわ面白そうでしょ Fuck the who? Okay. Lilith vaulted into the sky with a cheer. What on earth was on her mind? You have no idea. The smile on Eve's lips had a hint of envy as she saw Lilith off. Sarmi, with a beaming smile on her lips, proceeded to pinch the area close to my right arm's elbow with tremendous force. It hurts very much. Oh god, is this gonna turn into a double date? That would be awkward. A date together with the current and an ex girlfriend. It didn't paint the most romantic of scenes. Well, Adam wasn't exactly the same person as the Adam of the past, so Lilith would probably be somewhat alright. Still, I couldn't imagine anything good coming out of that pairing. Basically, a double date. A reasonable choice. パートナーがチェンジする展開もあるのでは。いや、確かにあるけどさ、彼氏が別の女に走ったり、別の男に走ったり。What?それでしたら、くぐつ様と天童様お願いできませんか？There it is. Eve flashes a rare beaming smile. After falling silent for a few seconds, Sarmi and I slowly looked at each other. What did she just ask of us? <laughs> it was probably the first time in my life that I was completely dumbstruck. <laughs> Wait, Miss, are we actually going right to the date? The next day, Stormy was eagerly pulling my arm as I tried my best to resist. Yep, we're gonna leave that to the next episode, though. Oh my god. That deserves its own episode, honestly. Plus, I'm kind of curious to see how these others actually turned out. Hmm. Hmm. Ah! But yeah, that definitely deserves its own, that, 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 that deserves its own episode, honestly, so... Well. I think I managed to make time work for me, despite I feel not really dead tired this time for once. But hmm. Hmm. That, I just I just read the title Double Love Plus. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. Oh god. I can already imagine that freaking Adam and Setsuna are probably gonna try to kick each other's ass. That or just Setsuna will be the one to instigate it. Or Adam. Hmm. This might be the most interaction we're gonna get between the two, honestly. But that's pretty much it. I think this is actually not a bad place to stop, honestly, so. Uh, I'm gonna try to stop cutting these videos short, honestly. Or I'm gonna try to. Because it's not really fair. Even if the work schedule, you know, tr even if the work schedule is not really fair either. But. Eh, ugh. I'm gonna shut up now, so. <sighs> this is a pretty good episode, honestly. I enjoyed myself, so if you guys liked it, be sure to let me know. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. I actually got to the point where I can't, even, I can't wait to record the next Tokyo Battle. This is probably going to be a funny episode next time.